The following is a Thorpe TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorpenson, part of our really, really not YouTube-friendly programming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Sack Show! Brought to you live from Mr. Holster's Ranch, way up north near the Canadian border. Let's have a big round of applause, because here he comes! Direct from the bar, Mr. Holster! <laughs> oh, that guy's back again! <laughs> I thought we put him off the air! I thought we finally got rid of that bum! <laughs> I tell you, Mr. Holster's the biggest... Oh, Mr. Holster, hey, that's me! Hey, howdy, Parge, yeah, it's me, Mr. Holster, and Jack! You look good tonight, Jack. What did you get out for us tonight, Jack? Oh, you got Canadian Club. Look at that. An antique bottle of Canadian Club. This whiskey is eight years old. Well, that's, that's different. 1920. Well, I hate to put that aside, but we will. Let's... Pop the top on this one, as Machine Gun Kelly would say. In this case, it's a, it's a screw, on top, screw off top, so. Nonetheless, that does smell good, though, Jack. Look. Not bad, is it? No. Okay. I'll give you a little whiff out there in YouTube land. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a little in the old ranch shot glass. All things in moderation. Jeez, Jack, you gotta get somebody in to clean these. <coughs> West Texas dust. But not too moderate tonight. Yeah, that's that's well, that's a little moderate. That's not bad though. Not bad. We'll we'll pop the top back on this in case Machine Gun Kelly comes by. He can he can screw it off himself. Gonna have myself a little Brannigan boiler maker tonight. Great, Jack. It's been a couple weeks since we did a sock show. I don't know if I can handle this or not. It's a long time for drinking nothing but cocoa. Yeah. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Oh my, that's good, Jack. That doesn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. Ah. Well, I feel better already, Jack. I'll tell you. My most important meal of every day is breakfast, because if I'm not home by breakfast, my wife gets really upset. I was brought up in a really, really tough neighborhood when I was a kid. Yeah, ten blocks either side of my house. You can walk either either direction and never leave a crime scene. Most people see their dentist twice a year. Mr. Holster sees him twice in the first visit. I was at my dentist the other day, and he was really surprised, Jack. He'd never seen cork fillings before. As Jack says, though, you aren't drunk if you can lie on the floor without holding on. I, I tell you, Mr. Holster, though, is getting old. Jack and I went to the Indian Casino the other day to do a little gambling, and every time I, I put a quarter in the slot machine, three prunes came up. And Jack, Jack had a little too much to drink that night, and I insisted we drive home. I, I, drove, us, I drove us back, and Jack didn't look too good when we got back. And I said, Jack, maybe you should take a little walk out by the cattle pen and get some fresh air. Jack said, you know, that's probably a good idea. It would probably help. And Jack did. And then longest time went by and, and Jack didn't come back. So I walked out to the cattle pen to see how Jack was. And Jack was standing there talking to a cow and yelling at it. I went over, Jack, Jack what are you doing? He says, hey, you stay out of this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give a piece of my mind to, the, to Rosie O'Donnell here. We've got a great show for you tonight, and if you happen to be watching this in a bed with a lump, 
Well, wake wake them up. They might want to watch the program too. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? Did bottle line? I saved that one joke. I almost wrecked it today. I tell you, it's been a busy time around here. And if you watch watch my channel, a lot of you people I know are just fans of Jack's, and you don't really watch my channel. But if you watch my channel the other day, I did a video. I think it was uh, my my coffee in the tack room video, and it get, got demonetized by YouTube right away. Apparently, because I was talking about my bull and having calves drop. Apparently, that's that's not advertiser friendly. Yeah. So go figure that one out. <laughs> and and I'm gonna put a link. I put a link right up here. I want you to go check this video out, this gal. And she does she's she's got a very good sense of humor. She's got a really good show and she's a very attractive gal. Jack's Jack's the one that turned me on to her to watch her and I well, I, I think I was all right with that, Jack. <laughs> and <clears throat> so I, I was watching her and of course she's she's using every asset she has to put her program on, but she's got a really big following. And I can see why, because she's got some incredible assets. But she did this video, and and it just cracked Jack up. When you get to two minutes and twenty seconds, she does this joke, and I've never seen Jack laugh so hard. He was rolling on the floor crying. Weren't you, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, it was a funny joke. Yeah, you're right. If only we could get her to write our material, Jack. No, you did a good job tonight. Good job. It was a good monologue. Everybody liked it, I'm sure. You did a good job. If if if, if they didn't laugh, it was probably my my lack of comic timing and my delivery. It wasn't it wasn't your jokes, Jack. No. I don't I don't want to have to write another monologue, and I don't want to have to do another monologue written by Jimmy. So. Yeah, I want you to check her out because because that yeah it was a funny joke and that's and, and it's also interesting because that's the way I feel too. <laughs> yeah, so we got we got a bunch of calves drop and then then we got two that are of all the years I've been doing this, I would have sworn both these cows would have dropped calves last weekend. And they're still, they're still haven't dropped a calf, and their tail's been bent up eight inches into one side for at least ten days. Not to mention, they're really, really puffy and swollen, and yeah, and and their their milk bags are huge. I I can't, I just, I just don't get it. I can't believe they haven't dropped. So I've been feeding these two. I've, pushed them off into pens and I've been taking care of these two waiting for them to drop and starting to get frustrated but we can talk about that here right Jack because they don't like you you can't monetize anything right yeah Jack and I are having a little financial difficulty here with our our lack of monetization on the other channel so now we we're trying to branch out and we're we're also frustrated because there's a lot of things we want to do and we can't do it on there because we get demonetized. A good example is the the coffee in the tack room on Wednesday morning. I got demonetized just because I talked about my bull and cows, apparently. And I can only guess this is the way of thinking of the people in charge that you shouldn't eat meat because they're creating gas and causing a global warming, which I don't believe in any of that crap. But, do you, Jack? Jack says he doesn't care. He doesn't have enough time left on this planet to to be too concerned about it. But if it makes everybody happy, he said he can freeze him when he's done, when he dies, and that way he won't decompose and create more gases that create global warming. That's that's a, that's a good thought, Jack. That's a good thought. So Jack and I are taking the plunge, and and we both have absolutely no confidence in this, but we're going to do it anyways, only because it will enable us to, I think, put on the programs we want. We've done two things. Number one, we've, 
we've opened an account on theguntube.com and we're putting videos up there we're going to make videos for that and we're going to make videos for that we're going to take a different approach we're going to make videos to put on there that are videos for that and at the same time we've opened up a Patri Patreon account is that what you call it Jack yeah, that's that's one of those deals where like that Mac from uh, uh, Tim from uh, Military's Arms Channel that's begging for money all the time. Yeah, we opened one of those accounts where we beg for money. Yeah, and we're hoping that we get some money for ammunition, and I'm really hoping we get more money for beer. That's what I'm hoping for, Jack. Don't look at me like that. I don't have a drinking problem. First off, I never spill. Second off. I'm not the one putting out bottles that are filled with orange pop. Remember that weekend? Yeah. Woo -hoo. You remember that, Jack? At any rate, we've set up a three-tier system where you can go there and give us money. The first tier is one dollar, the second tier is three dollars, and the third tier is five dollars. We fully expect no one to show up, but maybe on the one dollar level but but there we can at least have our videos where we can talk about things like bulls and calves and components on firearms and uh, self uh, self-defense because you can't say ooh, do you can say self but not defense I don't think you can say defense at all can you but but if you say self-defense then it's even worse can't talk about triggers can't talk about hammers can't talk about modifications to a firearm right we've established that you can't talk about rye whiskey we know that you can't you can't smoke a cigar you can't drink a beer you can't make jokes about women that's a big no-no I found out and back to that gal that you should go check her video out that's what's happening to her she makes jokes about women and I think she has this this idea that because she's a woman, they won't hold it against her. Well, tell me, I tell you, that doesn't work. I found out a long time ago that YouTube does not like any of my jokes that are like, if you knew Susie like I knew Susie, oh, oh, you'd go to the doctor too. Yeah, they don't like that joke. <laughs> you like it? Oh, no, Jack doesn't like that because he dated a gal named Susie. Why, well, you dated every gal on the planet, Jack. Is there, any, is there any female name attached to a gal that you have not dated someone with that name? Seriously. Yeah, you see? You see? Yeah, really, Jack, you might think of realistic. You're not too old. I'm sure they'd still take you. With your experience, they'd be happy to have you. You ever thought about that? Re-enlisting? Getting back into it? The Secret Service disillusioned you so much you don't want to go back. Yeah, yeah I can see that. At any rate, least, you know what, Jack? Look at it this way. With all your experiences and everything you've done, at least you don't have to tell anybody you once worked for the FBI. <laughs> see? See? It could be worse. So at any rate, this is what we're going to look at tonight, guys. Well, you know what? Since YouTube doesn't like it. <laughs> Mr. Holster's going to be Mr. Holster. And I know what you're thinking. Well, some of you. Some of you don't care. Some of you are thinking, he's drinking a, a natural white. And yeah, that's, that's how bad it's gotten, Jack. Seriously, that's how bad it's gotten. I'm almost ready to... I'm almost ready to... You know what Jack wanted to do the other night? He wanted to go down to Walmart and break into those um, jawbreaker machines, take the coins, go over to the, to the casino and see if he could roll it into a decent... You know, Jack, if I had any money, I'd take it down... And we and, and set you up to play blackjack because Jack Jack always wins when he plays blackjack. And he says it's because it's named after him. Personally, I think they're counting cards, Jack. I do. Yeah. 
you're counting cards. You can't fool me. But that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you win. If we only had a bankroll that, that we could go down the, you know. At any rate, now I'm getting off track. <laughs> yeah, it's stolen beer, too. It's from my wife's fridge. If she sees this, I'm in trouble. This is the firearm we're talking about tonight. I got this out mostly because I tried to get in the safe and it wouldn't let me in because the battery had gone bad. And that, that, that wasted a half an hour of our time, didn't it, Jack, trying to find one of those batteries. Anyways, we got into it, and this is the firearm we got out as a result because I saw it sitting there. Why well, haven't I had that out in a while? And I really, really like this firearm. This is one I used to carry, not this particular one. The one I used to carry had a real deep bluing on it and nice wooden grips, and I paid $189 for it is what I remember, Jack. He's not interested. At any rate, this is a Beretta 21A 22 long rifle, better known as the Bobcat. And, and what makes this a fantastic concealed carry backup firearm, which right there, Jack, Holy cow, concealed carry backup firearm. I got four strikes right there to getting demonetized. I know you don't have any commercials here, but that's four strikes, just that, that sentence. <laughs> any rate, what I like about this gun so much for that roll, it's got a seven round magazine if I remember correctly. But what I like about it is you can load it without working, manipulating the slide you just deploy the barrel there and you can just put a round in there and shut it. And what that allows you to do is unload the firearm very safely without having to manipulate the slide or like I used to do which I thought was kind of nice is lots of times I would just do this when I got done for the day and slip it under my pillow. Don't try that at home though, kids. I, I, I'm kind of, well, I used to be a professional. At any rate, yeah, and then it's perfectly safe. I can't fire and all I got to do is, and I'm good to go. Kind of a neat gun. It's just a fun gun too. Only real drawback and it really wasn't to me because I always bought these anyways you got to use CCI mini mags in it to make sure it functions correctly. But just a neat little gun. Very small, compact, easy to load and unload. And if, if you get, and this is why I still have this and several more, is you start getting older and your joints all hurt. And, you know, someday I'm not going to be able to work a slide. And regardless of what the, the world may be, I'm still going to carry this thing. Yeah, there you go. And I can just load it like that. And slip it into a nice little leather pocket holster. Thought I'd share that with you. Just a fantastic design and just a, a very clean, simple gun. The Beretta 21A Bobcat. Many a time. Carried that in an ankle holster. I did. Yeah, you know, it gets down to the nitty gritty in the end. That's what you got. And that that's something else to consider too. I'm going to talk about this real quick. And, and this is the kind of thing you can't talk about. Is you'll notice the slide. Here's the slide. Okay. So... First off, let's see, unloaded. If you put this up against somebody's gut and pushed, you notice it doesn't go out of battery because the slide doesn't come beyond this point right here. Makes it a fantastic last ditch effort backup firearm. Because at that point, yeah, you're going to be grappling and down and dirty, up against each other, and 
You can't push it out of battery. There you go. I thought I'd talk about that. See, that's the kind of video I want to make and talk about stuff, and I can't do it here. Period. Can't. Right, Jack? Yeah, they, they may come after us here. Yeah. Yeah. Very disappointing, all in all. I would love to be making videos like that where I give you those little points and and point you in the right direction, those little tips and point you in the right direction, but I can't do that here because I can't even say anything or do anything. It gets demonetized. Beyond that, at some point, somebody gets ticked and flags you and then you get kicked off. And I didn't even finish my second beer. So there. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in. The guys that support Jack are pretty special to us because you made the journey over from the other channel and, and went that extra yard. So we kind of we kind of look at you as being our real heavy duty hardcore supporters. Don't we, Jack? Can you stop cleaning your hands for just a second? Seriously. By the way, you know, you can just use soap and water. I don't I don't understand this concept of Jack. This is serious stuff here. Come on. It's your channel, man. These are your people on your channel. You would think at, at, at this point in your life, you wouldn't be all that concerned about going out on a date. But yeah, we're going to rush it along so you can get out of here. Yeah. By the way, Jack got a new car. Did you tell him he got a new car? Jack got a new car. And why did you get a convertible, Jack? Seriously. Today's the warmest day we've had, and I don't know how long. It was 22 degrees today, Jack. And I noticed when I looked out in the barn, the top is down on your car. You plan on driving that tonight with the top down? Seriously? It's got a good heater. Well, I hope it does. I, I hope your date does, too. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me, too far. There you go, guys. There's a sock show. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, whatever next time may be, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. Thirty-one minutes and thirty seconds of their life, they'll never, ever, ever get back in. A good portion of that was talking about your hands. Licking your hands. You still here? You don't have to be, you know. <laughs> I do. Jack does. Well, Jack doesn't. He's got a date. <laughs>